and uh, it looks like we're going to be getting back into it in just a moment. Oh, there actually, no, the, the game starts right now, guys. Backstein versus Cypher on Lost World is map one. And uh, at the beginning, we're going to follow Backstein, it seems. And it's going to be shard side. Oh, that's the worst spawn you can get on this map. I mean, uh, Cypher got the rockets, the Mega, and the Rev, and Backstein got the LT, and maybe two yellows, I guess, and he's also going to get the rockets. So, not super bad, but... Not super uh, good Cypher's by any means. Yeah. Yep. Cypher's definitely on a small advantage. If, if he gets the LG, which Backton was frankly the nice, gets the LG, it's definitely going to be another advantage. Thing is, Backton does have a position now, so let's see how Cypher tries to get it. Oh, direct rocket from both of them, but Cypher doing the better damage. Crater down to two health. And trying to escape, he's going to be able to make it. And Cypher oh, backs out. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, he pushes him back down to the lava. Oh, <laughs> what a move. I didn't understand. So many counter moves by these players, you can tell that they understand each other. Yeah. It was some really nice LG from Baxter to send him back down to lava. Although the thing is, Baxter doesn't really know how much stack Cypher lost. So he's a little bit of a question mark above uh, Cypher's stack. Oh, look at that. Cypher, he's just wandered down to the middle doing yeah, what he, exactly? He misread Baxter. He thought Baxter was already on the on going to the, the other yellow. Yeah. Very, very, very odd. Fresh. And Baxter's back up to the top. And, uh, well, Cypher now grabs the L LG and the yellow. Baxter hasn't taken Mega yet. Is he going to try and sneak on him again? He's found him. Good rocket. The second one, not so decent, but it's all right because Cypher's left the room. And Baxter is showing Cypher that he has got the brain game to play against yeah, him. This, but he's going to be self on the red right now. He wasn't expecting Cypher to pull a move on him like he just did. That was very interesting. He dropped all the way down to get the damage on. Oh, he hits another rocket! Interesting move, but now he's stuck. After the 50 HP, oh my god, he rocket jumps up with only 40 HP. Yeah, that was That's gutsy. He should be able to get another yellow, but is he going to go for it? He's not, it looks like. Oh, he might be able to back off onto this red. Oh, the rocket from the side, and Cypher falls to the lava or craters. Oh, and no weapons at all. So Baxter should be able to pick up one more frag here. It's so tight though, and he's gonna go away. He's like, it's fine. Cypher's weak as hell. I've just got to get as many items as possible faster than Cypher can. Cypher, he can't be here. He's gonna die if he stays here, and in fact, he does die. He saw that HP and he just couldn't help it. Yeah, Max is gonna make it out. He goes to the jump up. The good rocket from Cypher. You can't forget those rockets from Belarus. And baxter has got a bit of time. He can get over to Mega still. And deal damage here. Oh, Cypher! He moved forward in the air rocket from Cypher! He's back off of the negatives! And now he's got himself a kill. Yeah, what did he Fantastic rocket there. Yeah, the Cypher 100 health. He only has one rocket on the rocket launcher right now. Oh, he finds the thing there. He wanted it real bad, man. It was worth the 30 health investment. If, if, he, if he searches enough, he'll also find the rail in there. Yeah. In the depths, man. You need the battle suit first, of course. And Cypher wanting to protect the Mega and the Red at the moment, it seems. And he finds Baxter at the top. Baxter didn't have rockets before, he's got them now for sure. And Baxter might hope for Cypher to make a move so that Baxter can drop on a on an item, but that was really nice by Cypher. He kind of tricked Baxter into thinking, hey, I'm going to fall back for Mega now. Baxter made the drop down and already committed his life to that move. Yeah, and look at this, only one frag game after that Cypher had been down in the negatives. Still 5 15 seconds for any major that to spawn. Cypher needs to try to find Baxin to do some damage just to make sure Baxin won't attack at major items because they're both spawning at the same time. Yeah. That's not what he wants to do. Oh, this is this is very tough to predict from Cypher right oh, now. Oh, the rocket though. But he's gonna give Baxin the Mega. Does he know it's up? There we go. He's gone for it. Now it's taken. Baxin, yeah, he's jumped over at the top. Baxin's probably going to get himself a yellow here. Yeah, he hasn't pushed over to LG yellow yet. Cypher should be able to get this quite cleanly. The thing is, Cypher doesn't have rockets right now, so he's kind of scared of facing Baxin in the, any close corridors. That's why he's not being aggressive at the red armor right now. Look at the grenades he just spammed. He didn't do any damage to Baxin. None of that them here. Yeah. Unusual. So Cyphus, he's weaved his way onto the rockets at the top. Now, 
feeling almost infinitely more comfortable having control of that weapon. And there's Cypher, well read. Vaccine had that Mega under control. Now Vaccine trying to push him away. Is the Dutchman going to be able to get one more and re-extend that lead? I don't think that, that Cypher is actually, uh, actually more stacked than Vaxxin is. Oh wow, look at that, the plasma! And trying to show us a bit of flair here. Vaxxin taking the lead, he might even extend it again! But Cypher just makes it through, probably going to be grabbing a 50 health bubble. Vaxxin getting rid of the other big uh, health items on the map. Looking for him down at the bottom, Cypher didn't make the move to it. It's going to be Mega and then Red for Vaxxin, unless he wants to find any other yellows on the map first. It's like he's having a look over, he's going to be able to take one away. And back him to se center position. Great play here by Backstein. He's getting a load of free damage as well. Yeah, that's what he wants. That's that's like the perfection. He got all the major items. He stole one of the yellows and he did damage on the side. So it means he gets another free rotation of the major items. He really needs LG ammunition though. He just had that click on it. Cypher probably knows he's running low on uh, LG ammo. But he makes the jump up. This is really ballsy. Almost uh, failing for him in the end, but Cypher doesn't really have enough health to commit into the LG fight he would have wanted to. And Baxter's probably going to get red now, and now it's up to 200 200. And not only is he killing time that Cypher needs in order to come back, he is just playing fantastically and keeping Cypher on his toes with little health. And there's a good rocket, another one. This could be a kill, and Baxter makes it 4 1. Yeah. Cypher did not expect this good rocket from Baxter. Oh, this is going to be another one. There's no uh, uh, shotgun, unfortunately. The plasma comes out from Cypher, but it's not really going to make him fear at all. And now look at this. Cypher is on the back foot again. Three minutes to go. But this is a super stacked and motivated back thing. Yeah, completely. Oh, he misses a rocket, and Cypher gets like another extra 70, 100 uh, free damage. And he's going to be waiting here a while for the yellow. He's missing out on other opportunities around the map. Moving on to red, just checking uh, quickly his perimeter to see if uh, Cypher's around. Now Mega next, so Baxter spent a bit of uh, too long over at the LG yellow, but he's made it work. And he's got himself back into an almost unstoppable stack. It's up to Cypher to stop him. LG on LG, Baxter hitting enough and makes it 6 to 1. It's just getting better and better here for the Dutchman. Those spawns really helping him out. And look at that. Almost one more. Spawning in front of him. That's so important for Cypher. Baxter is loving life. Now it's only two minutes to go. I have no idea if this is even possible for Cypher. But if, if anyone can. Yeah, if anyone can do it. It's an him. amazing feast. Or a demon. <laughs> or, or a demon. <laughs> As he's shown us already countless times today. Oh, Baxter getting good, Ash. Very good tracking here with the LG. Really showing Why Cypher he can is damage. Cypher going for these ridiculous shots? You have like a 5 oh my god. That was a lot of damage. He even rocket jumps up just to check around. Baxter, you know he's doing these moves when he's confident and when he's feeling good. And he's just taking down another frag. Baxter is unstoppable on Lost World. It's 9 to 1. And Cypher is trailing by a map. Very yeah, I mean, I believe, impressive. I thought Cypher was looking very good, but it seems that it's still pretty much warming up. Yeah, completely. I think those are the right words. But is he going to have warmed up enough to take down the next map and bring it to a tiebreaker? I'm not sure. Because um, uh, Baxter's already lost to Agent, am I right? Uh, yeah, he did lose to Agent. Okay. So, we're going to find out, though. How it's going to go down. This right now, this third map we're going to, uh, it means that you will not be able to go first in the group. Yeah, that would be a shocker to be honest. A Agent would actually look good to go first. Oh, it's a good roll. Baxi taking many risks here. Cypher going for a jump up, but Baxi still Impressive. giving a lot of output. And another three rails. Almost four. Oh, he gets to the other one in the end. And there it is. First blood for Baxi. He never even went for yellow. An agent wowing the spectator. Yeah. I mean, who the hell isn't? Oh, he's a little bit early here. Cypher looking for damage from beneath. He's gonna get red. It was a bit of a risk, but Cypher missing the rockets. They're just hitting the staircase. 
And now getting onto Mega Health. Baxteen wins it. He makes an aggressive jump and it's... Wow. Uh, that was actually flawless timing at the beginning. That helped him get Look that Look at Cypher. He's making damage now. He needs to get position on the red before Baxteen makes his way across. And Baxteen just takes the higher route because he knows Cypher is shooting grenades at the other side. Look at this. He, now he turned the position around. He's the one on the advantage. Oh, but now he's rollable. This is dangerous. Baxton goes for the rocket jump. Tries to get it safely. And now Cypher's in trouble. There's the frag. And there's the 2 0. Baxton still with a good advantage. Cypher taking at this mega? Yes, he is. And that's going to be another frag for Baxton unless Cypher gets away. Now Baxton missing a couple of these rails. Let's have a look at his accuracy. 50% rail? That's definitely not bad. Cypher's waiting on there. I think Baxton heard him. He's like, You're early, son. And that is my red. Now, how much longer is Baxton going to be feeling himself for? There's surely this momentum's got to end at some point. He's against Cypher. It is definitely a mountain he's climbed before, so to speak. Last year, making himself a name. Beating Cypher in best of fives on Face It. Can he do it here, though? In the second group stages on 125 FPS June League. Still, a lot of this map left to be played. But the ball's in Cypher's court to uh, return some kind of damage and bring something to the table. It's about to spawn, but th both major items are going to be up at the same time. So the Hyper needs to delay Baxin. That's what he wants to do. He doesn't want to let Baxin get to these traps. Baxin tries, but he knows too much grenades. He needs oh. to do them there. He almost denied the jump, but this LG has been decent. He runs out of ammo. He has to wait for the LG to respawn. Cypher gets himself a kill because of that. The thing is, Cypher's really unstacked, and Baxin just took away that yellow armor. He still looks good to keep control on the map, despite Cypher getting himself a number on the board. And there it is again. 40 health for Cypher, but we know that how comfortable he can be on low health. He might not have control at all, but Cypher will still be after that ridiculous damage. Can he get any of it now? It's Baxteen just throwing him back. 10 health left for the Belarusian. There's a couple of health bubbles, but he needs a couple more. Ah, oh, the rail is going to get him right between the eyes. Look at this Bax Baxteen is just completely shutting down Cypher. Is it? it was like, I don't care. I know that you're probably pretty low at the moment. I'm just going to go and get every single item on the map, and then I'm going to kill you. But, is he going to be able to do it again? Mega's up real soon. Cypher going to be waddling back onto the yellow. But he's still showing his face. He never took the yellow. Oh. That was good. A rail, though, from Baxin probably will get the kill. We're slipping up a little bit here. Baxin hasn't let Cypher be comfortable at all in his best of three yet. Has he oh, the rockets from oh, Cypher. You can see him wielding it. Baxin with another. Oh yeah, I mean, Cypher has been really uncomfortable this entire series so far. Well, a map and a half has been. I wonder if Faxin is going to let him get the control. Ever. It doesn't seem like Faxin wants to stop right now. What's the item? Everything. Can you tell us about the item pickups? Wait, wait, let's have a look here. What was Cypher doing there? He was looking the wrong way. And there's the flick rail. Let's get back to the items, man. Three reds against seven for, for Baxin. Seven magas for one. And even on the yellow, it's seven yellows for two. So this has been really a almost perfect first half for Baxteen. The thing is, it's only six frags ahead. This is Aero Walk. We know how uh, how things can change very quickly on this map. And it's like there's going to be the Mega, but Baxteen takes a lot of damage. Cypher's going to win himself a red, surely. Look at that. He wanted that 25 HP, but he, he knew he was going to pay a Railgun for it. But it's okay, because at least Baxin won't get it, and Baxin is only on CPHP right now. Yeah. Can we actually kill Baxin now? Finally, he's the one on the stack advantage. Oh, he misses that Railgun. Now he's available. So, oh, Baxin reading Cypher so well. He's getting all this damage off. This is really unusual, because usually you see Cypher doing those kind of things. And he hasn't been able to in this game. And look at that, he's just weaved his way onto the Mega. And now Cypher trying to fight for red. Is Baxin going to be able to deny this from him? Are we going to see an aggressive steamroll up the staircase? The LG damage is coming out. He's got the confidence, but has he got the stack? 
He doesn't. Not really the sec, but I mean, Cypher is hitting 39% LT, Bexin is hitting 19. 19, am I? I guess we've seen a lot of spam, but still. You gotta be careful not to get too greedy against Cypher, because he can really push it back into you. It's only still a 5 frag lead, so look at this. Make it 4. 4 frag lead now. 4 minutes to go. The mag is up. Bexin. Oh, he's gonna let Bexin get this rest. Oh, uh, LG on LG, oh but. Oh, oh, he, didn't get he, the he missed rest. it. He didn't get and look Bexing, at such a good trick jumper, and he misses the most basic jump. Seven would Obviously, be Obviously, he needs a grenade to boost him up there. <laughs> look at the from Cypher. Bexin walking on nothing right now. You, you see, though, what happened when Cypher just had an opportunity? What happened in 20 or 30 seconds? He's brought it back by three frags, and there's only three more to get before it's tied. This is yeah, going to be Cypher's Cypher, map. He, he just he wants to get the red, but he doesn't want to let Bexin get on the mag. So he needs to wait for the mag to And can Bexin actually steal the red meanwhile? He, he can. Cypher missed his jump. Yeah. And Baxin got onto it. But he's taking a rail, so Cypher... It's gonna be... I think it's very risky to go up now. He needs to get the yellow before. Mm -hmm. Then he can go up. There we go. There's even the green around. Cypher, yeah, he's gonna eye that thing, eye that up. Now he can jump, because... He knows that uh, 25 should be spawning soon, and he doesn't want Bexin to get on another item right now. Just get the red fast. Now he might miss on the on the mega, and this is what Bexin wants. Bexin is gonna get the mega. Wow. Bexin is just playing around with the item so well right now. I would say that he's being passive, but Bexin is just looking for these tiny holes where he can get items. And look, he now he pushes onto Cipher. And Cypher's weak again, takes a rail, Baxin hits the next one, and that's 8 to 4 with 5 seconds until this red is up. Oh, they misses the shot, and Cypher is just coming up the bounce pad! Sorry, the staircase. <laughs> and uh, that, was, that was good though, Baxin had the rail out, he didn't move back fast enough, and Cypher just chased. Yeah, that's what uh, Cypher has to do, he needs to oh my god. Oh, the grenades, he's almost gonna die here, 10 health left! He gets the 25 health bubble, but Baxi picking up the items, more grenades. So much damage he's doing. It's, it's only still a 3 frag game. Still 2 minutes remaining. Yeah, that's... We can't be calling ah. anything at the moment. Baxin might start playing defensively. How can he kill time on Error Walk, one of the smallest maps in the pool? He needs to play around with Cypher very well, and that's not the way to do it. That's, situation. that's exactly what Cypher needed to get. Now it's only two difference, and that was practically no time lost at all. And Cypher doesn't know where Bexin is. Bexin didn't make a sound after. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he makes sound to hit a, a grenade there. And he is actually he... hits any more grenades. He would he love did. to hit another. Look at this. Cypher wants to kill him, but he doesn't want him to spawn at the rev. So he needs to make his way across very, very fast. Yeah, and he, he didn't. And he's going for the kill right now. There's Rocket, so for Baxin, he's doing good damage as well. The rail is out from Cypher, but he's gonna have to move away, get himself a red. A hook! Two grenades! Oh my god, how does that even happen? Did, does Baxter know it was right two, now. though? I would just rage quit right there. <laughs> With one frag behind, Mega about to spawn. 45 I seconds. I think realized Cypher was super low by then. No, I'm sure he would have moved in for a kill if he knew that Cypher was on 16 health. It's all okay, Cypher just needs to make sure he gets his red. And yeah. then can go for the kill, because Bexing is quite sick now, it's almost 100-100. That's basically the same then, and he gets the rail first, Cypher doesn't return the punishment. Ah, oh, there we are, he gets it in the end. Baxing's got to be careful, it's the last rail, this could count, 15 seconds! And Baxing just uh, escapes. He's running, man, just over 10 seconds for the 2-0. Cypher... Cypher needs to be super clutch right now. Now he's going for the jump up, what a move here by Cypher, and that's the tied game with 5 seconds to go. What are these players doing to us today? The the overtime is here, Baxin with the grenades yet again, but he's going to fall. He does give away 100 damage before that. Yeah, and Cypher, right now, both of my right now are going to spawn at the same time. Baxin is, is almost definitely going to get one of them. Yeah. Oh, the rocket! That was so close, he's looking for the vertical rail to tie it up. Oh my god, Cypher flick shot almost did there. Cypher cannot go for these angles, he almost died there. Oh, oh get out of there. Baxin, he's gonna be forcing Cypher onto the yellow. He's looking for rockets. Is there a drop down from uh, Baxin? No. He goes through the teleporter. And now Cypher, is he gonna be trying to kill time? Oh, another rail, he's back through the teleporter. 
Baxi knows where he is. Oh, oh right behind, behind him. <laughs> oh, oh, what a rail there by Cypher. Ten that to is, eight. That, that is violent. <laughs> and now it's the one. Okay, Ooh. there we go. Baxi's coming back. He knows that the mag is up as well. What can Cypher do? Good move by Baxi. That was important. Oh, and he goes for the jump. Rocket jump I've seen. No. The worst. That, yeah, that did not work the way he planned. But Cypher misses his jump. Baxin comes through. He knows it. He's trying to hit a rail desperately. If he hits this rail, it's going to give him really good hopes. And there it is. <laughs> He's got red but seconds remaining. And Baxin has 12 HP. Is he going to be waiting for these 25s? He cannot afford that. Yeah, that's too much. About 10 seconds now. There's one. That's taking off a railable stack. He's gonna go for Mega, I think. He's gonna get it as well. Cypher on the side. Let's see how's Baxin gonna fare up in this. He's missing his rails again. Cypher bringing out the rockets. Rocket jump up. He can't. And now Cypher has a position with 10 seconds to go. This is awful. Baxin, I am. He needs 100% LT or rails like that. Whoa. Oh, he hits the next one as well. He's gonna bring us to another overtime. Or is it? Just misses the shot right at the end. And wow, I can't believe it, man. He's got to be careful of this shotgun. Baxstein's just put himself in a really dangerous position by going for that frag and not falling back for red. The mag is going to spawn, though, if Cypher isn't around. And now it's Cypher. Oh, God, he actually gets the red. We have a game. We do on our hands at the moment. This last 12 minutes have been intense. And now, is Baxin going to be able to pull through? He's given himself another opportunity, but now taking damage from Cypher again. With ages until items up. Oh, but he gets the rail! He takes a lot of damage, but the rail was his. Yeah. What a pixel shot. Yeah. What can he do? Cypher, he needs- he, he knows Baxin is low. Can he actually eat the shot? Oh! The it, was a good, fun. it was a good denial by Baxin. I would have gone for the health bubble first if I were Baxin. Can Baxin challenge for the rest? For the mega even? He can't. No, there's nothing. I mean, grenades everywhere, and Cypher actually gets hit by the grenades. Again. Oh, look at that, though. Very tidy. Baxi's got to get away from this, and Cypher's just getting in his hair. He falls down. Oh, misses a rail. Nothing needs to go to. Oh, guys, amazing rail. He doesn't need. He doesn't, even, he doesn't want to let Baxi get weapons. No, like, not okay, at all. Screw the rail. I just don't want to get weapons because you can do amazing things with it. The second overtime is easy as long as Cypher can deny those weapons. But it looks like Baxin's got himself a rail. Let's go over to Baxin's point of view. Oh, but he's gonna get taken down. The rail. There's health behind him. A grenade hits. It's not over yet. He makes the jump, but Cypher is gonna get the rail, and we well, could be seeing GGs now. real soon. He comes out. It is all grenades galore here. But looks like the final score is 15 to 12 in the second overtime. And Cypher I'm brings it to a tiebreaker. I'm glad that game is over. <laughs> Don't be silly. L look at the damage difference. 1,000 more damage to, to Cypher there. Hmm. That's a lot. And Baxin wasn't pretty good on the items though. Very. <laughs> a rap is there as well. Should get rap here. <laughs> Does he want to come on though? Uh, we got to get your camera working here because... Uh, because I think I might have to leave fairly soon because I told you I had to leave at the night. So yeah. I can get clothes and stuff ready. I see. Hang on a sec because I'm having a lot of trouble here with my... Alright. Um, okay. Well, I guess uh, I'd have to call you back if we want to get on your camera. Should we get Rafa here? Do you need to go now? Uh, oh. No, I can. we can talk after this map. All right, let's do that. We will discover what's going on soon, but it's the tiebreaker map. Furious heights between Cypher and Baxine. How is this epic game gonna be concluded? Look we'll at just Cypher, have to so see. aggressive. Gets a plasma, goes straight onto the mech to make sure Baxine isn't delaying that item. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> what is this? Now, now Baxine's- Now weapons. Baxine read that perfectly. He knows that Cypher doesn't have weapons, so he's flying with him right now. Oh, look at that. He runs out of ammo. Baxin with the first frag, but he's super weak at the moment. He doesn't really want to be near red. And he's reading it well that Cypher was over there. It's a good play by Baxin to to go that way. Oh, the rocket from Cypher! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> we can take this. And we got a Mega. So, um, we're back to... It's 0-0. Zero, zero. Let's just forget that ever happened, that whole... Yeah, the game just started. Yeah. Anything unusual happening in here? Oh, the plasma from Baxteen is absolutely rinsing him apart! 21 health left. Uh, he's gonna get the kill. Oh, oh, uh -oh the grenades. He almost gets a grenade. One grenade can get the kill at the moment if he doesn't grenade himself beforehand. 
Oh, Burke Cypher's got it down with some rockets. Baxter's got to be careful. He's got to control himself. If I was Cypher, I would just left that room. But Cypher just stays there. He's willing to try to pay, pay the price. He's taking the risk. Oh, oh look at this. We've got 100% LG onto Baxter. Cypher didn't even finish Baxter because you'd know that he would spawn at the red. So he just goes to the red, gets the red himself, and now he's positioned to deny taking more weapons. He's denying everything. Now he can kill him. Easy, Very cheesy. Very dragon controlled. Yeah. Oh, Baxin's taken lower yellow. Oh, he's just come through. He's only got rail with him. He can't hit anything at all. Oh, get it. There we go. Now, was that just a bit of a rush? He maybe should have hung around, listened for the sound cues before making those decisions. Baxin's managed to get himself uh, red. I want. I mean, I want to see Baxin playing amazingly well right now. I want to see him playing. I don't want to. Uh, I want to see that the nerves have already taken control of him. Mm -hmm. I hope it didn't happen. Yeah, because he's got work to do right now. He, nerves cannot affect his game. We saw they kind of almost positively affected Demon's game when he made a comeback. Backstein dropping. He actually got the armor. Now he's got to get the rockets. Looking he, for the rocket to rail combo. One direct rocket. Into another. Both players are eating so much damage with the rockets. Yeah. And Safra actually going there for the rail in the drop down was extremely optimistic. Well, that was a very tidy rail. He's getting the rocket as well. Baxter in trouble. He's looking for his own shot, but Cypher extends that lead. It's 6-1. to one. Oh, Again, the plasma here. This angle, Baxter just gets it so nice. But he's going to have to run away. Cypher wins his way onto red. Yeah, the thing is, Baxter now, he cannot just charge onto Mega because he knows he's going to die. Oh, really? How did he not die there? I, if he's not dead, he's very damn close to it. Yeah. And <laughs> there he is, actually dead. And Cypher is just taking control with such a fashion right now and back in. How can he come back on this? Three minutes in. It's a, it's a lot, but um... I, mean, I guess we're going to have to wait. Can do it right now. This could be kind of like the uh, Lost World we saw from uh, Baxin, but on a reverse, because right now Cypher looks like he's been warming up a lot and Furious Heights is his friend today. Again, Baxin rushing over. He's got to hit all these rockets. He d he's hitting a lot of damage, but it's... It's nowhere near enough. And look at that, immediately falls victim to more Belarusian rockets. And that's going to be a red for him. 10 to 1 with still control. This is nasty for the Dutch player. And so all the other players are also kind of mesmerized by this action between these two top level players. Nice damage here by Cypher. Good change of weapons. Almost getting the second rail. And that Baxin goes to red, but nothing is happening. There's no magic in his game anymore. Cypher's taken it all. Yeah, he, he really is playing amazingly. I, I just don't know how Baxin has to do right now. He has an uphill battle to climb. Every time... Baxin hits a rail, Cypher gets two rails, or a rail and a rocket. And risk kill, this uh, well, I was gonna say, this moment looks very bad for Baxin, and again, it is just completely uh, going over what Baxin can afford to take. But finally, he gets a kill. He's still got his starting stack. He's gonna have enough time to get himself the red. Takes a full rocket though on the way. Look at him, he's rocket jumping. He knows this is urgency, but look at the Cypher. Oh, yeah, look, an LG, a rail on the floor. We've got all the goodies here. And that's gonna be an easy 15th frag. And to be honest now, this is beyond return. A nice plasma here by Baxine. He's gonna get another kill, but. Is he really going to be envisioning this kind of I, comeback? I, I, I don't see it happening, but Baxin can prove me wrong. Uh, yeah, please, Baxin. Go ahead and do that. Oh. What the hell? <laughs> I just play when he got for the rocket jump. <laughs> Again, oh, come on, Baxin. You're Stop a trick jumper. Stop missing jumps. This is must be the nerves. Yeah, I something like that. He's just not performing the way he was in the first two maps. I think maybe he ran out of stamina, he ran out of steam after that arrow walk. He probably felt it was in his hands. The Cypher took it away from him, but now oh, I've seen good damage. Oh, fantastic. This is, well, four minutes, nine frags. 
This is not impossible by any means, but he's up against Cypher. Is Cypher gonna let him do that? It's 11 frags. Oh, as well. Oh, it's the rail, and it's, he wants to rocket jump up. Just wait for the rail. He, he doesn't need to rush like a super madman. He needs to rush a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is urgency right now. Cypher going down, he's looking for the rail, he's missing these follow ups. And it's gonna be super weak now for Cypher. He missed again. What is this? He's trying to repeat the frags that we've seen in his plus backseat yeah, movie. That's, that's very, very optimistic. Yeah. It's like, please be there! And no, <laughs> no. Now it's three minutes remaining. And by the way, Rafa uh, can cast with you next game, I just talked to him. That's a shame. Oh, moving through. Baxin looking to get the kill. He's got a rail left. Baxin has got Cypher very low. I said can, not can. He can? Yeah. Oh. Oh, nice by Baxin. He's getting another rail off. Now, on to Red. Thing is, he's got so low on ammunition, he's got no more rails remaining, and Cypher just got rid of that LG that Baxin wanted to pick up and not lose any time on. <laughs> nice. He's very so cool. He recovered it. Uh, here's Wrong the drop down. Oh, that goes his means. No more hope in his eyes. No, nothing, man. That was, that was it. If the, there was a spark, I saw a spark, but it's completely diminished. Yeah. Cypher was 16 to 5. I'm happy to call it now, guys. I'm sorry. I don't like calling games early, but... I mean, considering I... the awesome games we have... To be honest, I'm happy, man. We can maybe chill out for a couple of minutes while these two play it out to the end. This is probably the... Uh, the day filled with most sickening games. <laughs> Dude, yes, this week, man. This entire yeah, week. Oh, oh the air rocket! Oh my god, look at this. How are you doing it today? If you had to pick a day, it would definitely be today. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We've had so. We've had the day packed full of overtimes, last second comebacks. It's had everything you could dream for in a Quaker Cup or series of duels. Good job, good job, good job. Go eat a good. But Baxin's still going for it. He's not completely given up. He's still got some energy. And uh, Bruno, you've got your microphone on. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my key's working. Oh, Rocket's here. Baxin sending a rocket to himself. He's going to just jump back down. Screw it. I'm going to go for it. <laughs> to Cypher getting his 18th frag. And we've got uh, Baxin's movie maker just goes... Smiley face and just leaves. Oh, little air rocket here. Yeah. This movie maker and Bex himself must be very happy for the performance he just did today. Well, he just Sixth left the game. server. He's like, screw you, man. You're not winning this. <laughs> oh, mutual frag. Why the hell not? Well, let's see, though. Because after this, we've got Cypher versus Agent. And I got a feeling that that one's not going to be one sided at all. Uh, what? Cypher vs. Agent? Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely not gonna be one-sided. But that's gonna be a, gra a game with such amazing moves, and you're gonna have Rafa to explain it, so... Yeah, I couldn't be happier about that, that I finally get rid of you. Yeah. <laughs> about time. <laughs> I don't have to listen to your lousy puns again. <laughs> Look, guys, it looks like this series is at an end. Final score of the map is 22 to 9, and Cypher takes the series 2 to 1. And this is really going to be looking good for him. And a win against Agent will put him first in the group and put him straight into the quarterfinals for next week. Then yeah. I'm going off. Okay, man. Thanks for casting today, Ints. We'll have you tomorrow. No, we won't have no, you tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. This is yes, the no. end.